Resident Evil Revelations. Hello everyone, I'm Splinter Cell God, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations 2. So last time, we encountered some bloaters, and apparently one of them almost exploded in my face. That sounds wrong. And now we're going to continue on our journey, so let's get to it. It's so freaking dark in here. 8 November 2009, the latest mock moved us even closer to the real test. This time, 11 candidates were fitted with the sensor bracelets, then subjected to extreme emotional stress from varying lengths of time. The results, three died immediately, the remaining eight eventually mutated at some point and were disposed of. The trial ended with none of the subs overcoming their fear. That's kind of weird. And my voice cracked. Let's make another explosive bottle. Because I love those things. Oh, is there something out of there? Oh yeah, there is. Found you. Another green herb. A small hand. Alright, so eventually we're going to become Natalia at this point. But we're not. So, let's go through this door. Did we go through here yet? I don't think we did. What's this? Oh, turn the power on. Yay, here we go. Turn the power on. Something right there. Finding a lot of points. It's good. Good that it's happening. Are there any more zombies out there to kill us? Heard something. All oh, those things. <laughs> nice try. Little things on the floor. Oh, something else right there too. Sapphire. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. I honestly... Oh, that building. Okay. Well, we can't go that way. And that's locked from the other side, so... How are we supposed to... It doesn't stay open long. Oh. We're gonna have to be quick to get through. Oh. Uh... Oh, okay, so we can't dilly-dally. So we gotta go back and hit that... That button. And we have to run through. How the heck are we supposed to do that? The switch is all the way down here. Or is it up here? I don't know. I don't even know. Hello everyone. I'm Splinter Cell God, and my mic got muted again because I made that one little movement with my body. So right now, um, it is April 9th, and it's almost 10 o'clock at night, and I just got back done with a game of volleyball. Wait. Okay. So, basically, my mic got muted again, and I'm really tired. But I just wanted to say that thank you so much for watching up to this point, despite my um, microphone coming out again. I'm not going to be using the Logitech microphone anymore. This is a Turtle Beach PX22, I believe and it has alone. a much better um, microphone. There's that bloater kind of zombie that I encountered. It just runs away. But anyway, um, I'm going to continue playing this game on the weekend because I've been busy with other things such as, well, the Brutal Half-Life mod for one thing. Um, I'm not sure what I want to talk about, but I will definitely get back to this. And sorry for the sudden pace if I started uploading Brutal Half-Life mod videos because I was re I recently looked at this mod and it seemed really, really cool. So I contacted the developer and I was wondering if I could help him spread the word of his mod 
to everybody on, on YouTube. And so I decided I wanted to do that. So I sent him a private message. He replied to me back. And he said that I could do it. God, these guys are weird. Anyway, um, so I've been uploading gameplay footage of his mod. Of course, monetized. And this is the time where I started looking at their new um, terms for a subscription-based model starting in June. I do not believe that it is going to be that successful. Um, this part, I'm trying to figure out how to pass through the gate. But anyway, um, YouTube's new plan to pay $10 a month for, for no ads and bonus revenue for channel creators, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know. It just seems like a really, really bad practice because I don't see it succeeding um, in the long run because um, you have those who are big YouTube creators like Machinima and you know, such as Game Grumps and you know, they're really big. But when we're talking about individual creators, like smaller versions of people, then it's going to be really, really hard for them. Plus, you have to consider the people who upload one to two videos a week versus one video every day. And if YouTube continues to go with this policy to compete with Netflix and Amazon Prime and Hulu Plus, I mean, it's going to put a strange... Um, turnaround on things. Some people think this is good, some people think it is bad. I just don't think that YouTube... Yeah, see, I don't even know how I did that. I just... I got through the gate despite me um, trying to figure that out. That probably wasn't supposed to happen, but I freaking nailed it. So if you actually got that, just leave a comment in the below and see if, if you tried that. Anyway, I don't think YouTube should do this subscription-based um, plan deal starting in June because it's just gonna hurt a lot of the content creators especially those who are individuals and they're not part of like big YouTube groups such as Machinima um, I do watch some YouTube channels one of them is Markiplier you should totally check out his channel he is hilarious and he recently uh, found a uh, tower emblem there he recently got out of surgery because there was some scar tissue in his intestine that caused him to go to the hospital. So he's all better as of now. There has been for a couple weeks. He's been doing videos and he's freaking awesome. So another channel is Game Grumps, which is pretty hilarious because those guys they have a lot of video game footage. Um, so. This whole YouTube thing, I, I really don't think that it's a good business model, especially when you're offering no, like a free ad experience. I mean, think about it. Most people today, or at least I wouldn't say most, but some people, they use Adblock Plus. Now, I believe that Adblock Plus has the potential of not getting enough um, advertisement viewing from all of the viewers and subscribers. I think what YouTube ha is trying to do is they should try to be more like Patreon or GoFundMe or any of those um, websites where you can pay, like uh, Twitch for example. Some proceeds go to the creators, go to the website, and they allow like people if they want their channel, if they want to see more from the channel or they want to get special perks for their channel they can pay toward that and that money can go separately among the creators and the website owners so I don't think YouTube might be doing the right step here as for me I'm not that that much big of a monetizer she run off to? I mean I've, I've so far I've done it for half-life and if the ads really bother you I really apologize because I just wanted to try it because I'm not really into big monetization, but I did monetize um, a lot of videos that have my content in it, just that. Um, Valve is allowing people to monetize their content because it's their material, and Ubisoft is allowed for their content to be monetized as well, as long as it's a Let's Play and you're, it's under fair use. And that's kind of a controversial topic to talk about, is the whole controversial, controversial um, 
thing when it comes to fair use. So, um, yeah, I, I, I just don't know what to think about it. And I, I'm, I'm sorry I'm rambling here. This video is like 20 freaking minutes, and I'm trying to find something to talk about. But that's that's pretty much what I have on the mind right now. I also I also preloaded Grand Theft Auto V. I don't know if any of you have that preloaded yet. And some people are like, oh, you should you should probably wait until it releases, and then you can download the whole thing and then play it. And that would be fat, and that would be better, because some people think that preloading is a waste of time and potential, and it's not really needed. But to me, I think it is a lot better to preload a game so that the files are intact. And when you start decrypting them, it takes less time to decrypt than to actually install. Because think about it, Grand Theft Auto V has 65 gigabytes, and it is going to be one of the biggest PC um, releases of this year, no doubt. It already came out on the next-gen consoles and the previous 7th generation consoles, Xbox 360 and PS3. But the PC has so much potential, there are going to be so many mods for this, and it is going to be freaking awesome. I cannot wait to play that. As for the other games, Far Cry 4, um, I still haven't gotten to it. There are so many games I have installed right now that I have not played and finished yet. And for games that I want to share my first impressions with, this is what I want to do for you guys. And I'm sorry that my microphone ended up cutting out, because I didn't want to show the video of me just blabbering into something that didn't wasn't actually heard by any of the microphones whatsoever. So bye bye Logitech, hello Turtle Beach headset. I'm also going to be using this headset for um, Xbox One games and PS3. I might actually start streaming games from now on. So that should be a lot of fun because I can upload those to YouTube. I might want to upload my playthrough of Heavy Rain because that looks awesome. Um, the Last of Us, god dang, The Last of Us is such a great game. It really is. Oh. Freaking elevator trap right there. I had a feeling that was going to be a trap. Just, just the way that that it showed it. And I was like, god dang it. Stupid ass elevator trap. So I'm just pretty much just hitting them with the crowbar at this point. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to hit them from behind so Claire can kick them down and I can crowbar them like that. I got the skill that allows you to um, allows your partner to shoot them, which helps tremendously. It's kind of bullcrap that you can't actually hit them off Claire, but I did it there. All right, what else? Okay, alright, so there's a funny situation that happened uh, this Wednesday, so I'm going to start. So, um, my brother is full into, like, the philosophical presence and, and reality that we live in today. The unconsciousness, the, the, uh, the not-awareness. He's really big into stuff. He's read um, Eckhart Tolle and a lot of very inspirational books that talk about presence and being aware of where you are, who you are, and what you define yourself as, labeling yourself in society, that sort of stuff. So, this is hilarious. So, basically, on Wednesday... Hey! Wait up! Oh, yeah, there's the, there's the girl. So, basically, what we did was we went... We got Subway, and then we eventually went into the place where we have choir, because at choir, we have Wednesday choir at night. So, Wednesday choir is a lot of fun, and... We were sitting outside on the couch outside of the auditorium where we're supposed to go. And I guess I'll get to more to that later after this cutscene. It's okay. Don't be scared. What's your name? Where are you from? <sighs> Did that lady put you here? Where are Whoa, you? Whoa, down, Claire. Let me talk to her. You must be so scared. I know I am. My name's Moira. See? We're like sisters. Aww. Everything's okay now. What's your friend's name? Lottie. You're both so brave. You're pretty good with kids. Come on. That's cute. I like that. Okay, anyway. Oh my god, I'm dying. Okay, anyway, um... So you managed to stay away from the monsters all by yourself? I have to say that the whole herbs thing that comes in a spray can is You're hilarious. You're a brave girl. 
but this will all be over soon. Listen, there's a bad lady in the tower out there. Once we take her out, we can all leave the island together. So, anyway, um, as I was saying before, we were sitting on the couch outside the door, and usually when people sit outside of where the door is, um, there's an indication that people believe that the door is locked. But we clearly were resting outside because we had a huge meal at TLC's. Uh, my brother got the, t the TLC's burger, no mayo, and I also got the same thing, and, and we got fries. So anyway, we were sitting outside, and we saw one one person involved in the night choir. Moira, did you hear that? Yeah, heard. Yeah, another one of those walking shit stains. Yep. Sorry, I mean butt stains, and you know what we do to yep. butt stains. So anyway, we we saw somebody walk in through the door, so we clearly knew that it was open. So as more people arrived, they had the thought that the door was actually closed, judging by how many people were outside of the door sitting on the couch. So what they did was, when the director, the conductor who actually teaches our class, he ended up getting influenced by the others to call campus security to unlock the door. And it's really, really funny because we knew that the door was open, but we weren't going to say anything whatsoever. So we just sat there and we started laughing. Nobody questioned us why we were laughing. We were just laughing. So anyway, the campus security guard finally comes over like a couple minutes after we find out that they had to call the campus security guy over. He comes over, he puts the key inside of the door lock, and he... Oh, crap. So... Anyway... So the security door went over to the door, and when he put the key in it, he ended up locking it first, and then he tried it, it was locked, and then he turned it again, and then it was unlocked. And we just freaking lost it. We completely lost ourselves. We were laughing so hard, but we were laughing inside our heads because we knew exactly what, how effective that unconsciousness can easily be spread like that. What happens is, if you don't try the door, then how do you know it's open? Do you judge by how many people are there? Or do you see that clearly the door is just closed and can't be open? The door was open the whole time, people just didn't realize that. And that's pretty freaking amazing when you can realize that something like that could happen. I'm just gonna drink the water. God, that's so good. I love water. So at this part, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure what to do, so I just kind of just whacked out the, the enemies as best as I could. As soon as we kill this enemy, there's something that's going to come through the door. Clearly, something is going to come through the door. Did you see that? Apparently, Claire tried to Claire tried to knock him down. This game's not that bad. It's actually really good. Very Resident Evil-esque. So is Evil Within. I just keep on getting my ass kicked because I know I'm playing on survival. And it's really hard to dodge. It really is. I missed my chance there. And there I realized that Claire's getting attacked by another zombie. So I take care of him there. And then I start hitting this guy. And once, once he's dead, there's something that's going to be coming through the ceiling. It's this, it reminds me of the, the big bloater from The Last of Us. Look out! This he is throws different. fireballs from his hands. I can see that! And he's like, what the hell am I supposed to do? So he throws fireballs at you, which is kind of weird. He's a fireball-throwing maniac. So here, I'm trying to figure out how to defeat this guy. Clearly, I can tell that this is I'm in such a pickle right now. So I have no idea how to defeat this guy. And I clearly got knocked off by the fireball right there. Look at the zombie. Just like, ooh, where'd he go? Yeah. Damn it. She says that all the time. I'm on my way. Every single time she gets knocked down like that, she always says, damn it. 
And the thing that sucks is that is that you can't you can't actually die with with Moira. You can die with Claire, and if you die with Claire, the mission's over, even if you take possession of her or not. So I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe there's a way to kill this thing. I just kind of I just I guess I just kind of wing it. I clearly got hit by a fireball there. And I switched to Claire because I know that she can die. And I know there's gotta be a better way to defeat this thing. So I just start using my automatic weapons to see if I can damage it. But I don't know. But I don't know. This, this game is not easy on survival, and I totally would not recommend playing on survival unless you're a complete masochist like I am. And it's, it's pretty crazy. I mean, <laughs> look at that. I was like, I didn't get her? Are you serious? That, that, that's ridiculous. Did you see that? They clearly just knocked me off there. Alright, so clearly I'm upgrading my skills right now because I realized that I did not want to beat this part of the game. And I've been recording for way too long. So once I realized that I've recorded already 20 minutes, I just decided to look at my skills and then choose the ones to unlock. So in the next episode, we will be able to continue from this point on. And that will happen maybe on the weekend. I don't know, on the weekend I might upload some Brutal Half-Life. But oh, I, I'll also get to fear eventually. I have to finish this because this looks a lot better. So I want to thank you all for watching. So anyway, I'm Splitter God. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.